Welcome to Vietnam, sunny Ho Chi Minh City for today's grueling 250 lap event, the Roundabout GP. Battling these unique traffic conditions will be Blake and Lee on their incredibly tiny 49cc motorbikes. They really are very small, phenomenally underpowered and hugely uncomfortable to ride. There are their respective mechanics, Fat and Lan. As a couple of last-minute bribes are paid, let's go to Ryan Shelton for the rules. The Roundabout GP requires competitors to complete 250 laps of a large roundabout on 49cc motorbikes. The first racer to successfully navigate the traffic and complete the 250 laps will win this epic race. Back to you. Well, as you can see, heat will be a huge factor factor in today's race. Lee with the all-important pole position as we are now just moments away from lap one of 250. This unique course here in Ho Chi Minh is really just one big left until they hopefully finish here in 250 laps time. Well, here we go. The gantry lights are up. There's the amber and it's green. Go, go, go. Lee off the mark quickly. He'll be happy with that start. Blake to a clean start as both riders enter this roundabout for the first time. And wow, will you look at how tiny those bikes are. Blake is moving well as both riders will want to negotiate their way to the centre of the roundabout very quickly. Oh, as Lee narrowly misses Blake. Well, that shot gives you a good idea of what they're up against today. 40 degree heat and thousands of obstacles on the track. As Blake comes around to complete his first lap now in a time of 31 seconds. There's our official lap counter for today. I'm sure you can read his name for yourself. Uh, well, it's certainly not John, is it? Back to the action, and Blake's in trouble. I got Lee right on my tail! Go, Blake! Lee makes an exceptional passing manoeuvre down the inside line and takes back the lead. But they've got some company on the track in the form of the local traffic police. Police! The police! Just that normal! It's not just the fuzz bringing the heat, though, today. It's also the sun, excruciatingly hot conditions, as you can see there from the gallons of sweat pouring down. Oh, and a stellar move from Blake. Let's see that again. Yes, he spots the gap and says, wham, bam, thank you, Vietnam. Gives the beamer a little knee tap on the way through. Just a pleasure to watch. Lap 22 of 250, and still neck and neck as Blake takes another big risk to get the edge. It'll be a tight squeeze, but no. Opportunity for Lee here, and of course, he capitalises. And now it's Lee in the lead again, but it doesn't look like it'll last as Lee leaves his inside exposed and Blake pounces. Well, there has been more Lee changes than... Oh, Lee's down! Lee is down! I didn't see what happened there, but it looks like his left foot slipped for some reason. Yeah, it looks that way. Hopefully he's OK. We can listen in to Lee now. Oh, I stand. Just had a crash. Well, apparently he crashed. <laughs> Just had a... Yes! Blake's very happy about it. Ryan Shelton is with Lee now. Yeah, it looks like something's gone wrong with the bike in the crash. I've lost that driver here as well. I need this. Well, if it is just the foot pedal, Lee should be back out in a few moments. But Blake, meanwhile, builds a handy lead on lap 37. And there you go. Lee back out now. Must have been the foot pedal. And he'll re-enter the race six laps behind. Oh, look out! Still plenty of time for him to claw his way back. And maybe now is that time, as Blake has decided to pit for fuel. He'll be relying on his mechanic, Fat, for a quick change over here. Go, Fat! Go! 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 Shit! Well, while Andy makes up a few of those lost laps, both these riders are battling some serious heat in those leathers and helmets. Ryan, how is Blake handling the warm temperatures? I don't want anyone else. Oh, look at the wind! Well, no. Uh, uh, well, you made some huge... wet T-shirt. Come. Gonna leave you there, Ryan, because Lee has just had another crash. I'm not sure how that happened. I've lost another. I'm gonna come in. Okay, he's coming in. Such a shame, but let's have another look at it. Yeah, a very comparable incident to the first, as Comparicam shows here. Both times he fell to the right. Really not what he needed this early in the race. As he wheels his bike back to his pit. Let's see if it is just an engine problem. Just an engine problem, Andy. I think it's an engine problem, yeah. An engine problem, yeah. Both riders on lap 59. Blake keen to re-enter the race with the help of Fat. Well, not great timing from the veteran mechanic, but he has delivered a very efficient pit stop for Blake. Ryan is with Fat now. Yes, Ian, I'm here. You've got to be happy with that. A good two-minute pit stop. What's your secret? 
Yeah. <laughs> They're the best here in Saigon. Thank you, Ryan, for that incredible insight. That's a record lap. That's incorrect. It isn't, as Lee goes rocketing back onto the track. Wow, like a brisk walk on two wheels, isn't it? He's three laps behind. Blake has held his lead for some time now as we close in on a remarkable two hours of racing. And Blake racks up a milestone of his own. That's 100 laps. Lee trailing on 97. Ryan trackside. Yes, I'm with him now. That's 100, Hamish. And now we'll see the traditional lap of high five. Well, Blake has really made this tradition his own. Doesn't even mind giving a lap back to Lee as he thanks the fans and lets them high five their hero. High five. Yeah, they just love him here, and it shows. Lee continues to make up ground, only one lap behind on 99, but Blake pitting again. This heat's really getting to him. Usually we can get a good idea of the temperature from the contact with the bike. Let's have a look here. Yeah, well, you can see it's burnt right through the top layer of his ass. Lee cracks 100 as we cross to Ryan, who's with Hamish now. Ryan? I fuse myself to the bike. I'm going to faint. You all right? Yep. You okay? I'm okay. Oh, yeah, just great road. I thought we were racing yeah. on road. It's late, clearly really feeling it. Get him off the road, Ryan. Get off the road. Uh, everything's great, Dad. I'm not your dad, Hamish. We talked about this. Well, as Blake loses precious time and bodily fluids in the pits, we will take a quick break with Lee pushing further ahead after an incredible and inspired comeback like a glistening phoenix riding a green Shetland pony. Don't go anywhere, race fans. We'll be back live with the epic conclusion of this heart-stopping roundabout GP next. <laughs> Welcome back to Ho Chi Minh. Andy Lee now on lap 120 and has built a sizable lead over Blake, who remains in the pits, battling extreme heat exhaustion. I've done number ones, twos, threes, fours and fives and sixes all through my body. <laughs> Doing for the kids and say hi to my mum. Well, that from a moment ago has led to this. Blake has requested a massage from his mechanic, Fat. This must be really helping, Amy. Uh, yeah. I just lost a contact lens and this young lady's helping me find it. Well, anything can happen at the roundabout GP, but hopefully Hamish can turn this into the happy ending he's clearly looking for. Back with Andy now as his confidence must have improved over the last 20 laps or so. We're going back, Fat! Well, you heard it. Here comes Blake. He's got 35 laps to make up as he cuts through this traffic like the Vietnamese equivalent of a Japanese samurai sword. And I, I understand Ryan has... Jumped in the sidecar of a passerby. Ryan, can you hear me? You can't hear me. Ryan! Oh, we'll come back to Ryan shortly. Hamish has made up a couple of laps. Lee hits 150. This race is heating up faster than a bowl of chicken bow with extra chilli. Oh, no. I've lost the foothold again. Uh oh, oh, something's happened to Lee's bike. I'm hearing that it could be that foot pedal again. Yeah, I think so. Ryan, are you with Lee so we can find out more? You're joking. Unfortunately, Hamish is in the way. I can't... Unbelievable. Yeah, Ian, I'm trying to get round, but we've got... We expect you to be near the action. I know, Ian, yes, but there's all this smoke in well, my face. Well, two and, and a half hours in, and both bikes having issues. Ryan has finally made his way to Lee. Ryan? This is such bad luck for Andy. After coming, coming back from so far behind, there's another problem with this foot pedal, Andy. Yeah, I'm not sure whether to go the roller skate. Well, that's true. There are the roller skates there if you do wish to use them. What do you think? I think we should do it. We're going to go for the roller skates, Ian. The roller skates. Back to you. For an explanation of the roller skate, back to you, Ryan. Roller skates are specially designed lace-up boots with four wheels attached to the bottom. Well, I actually wanted an explanation of how the skate was being used here, but... But I think it's pretty obvious now, as we hear Hamish's thoughts. Well, it just seems a bit unfair. I'm out here doing it on two wheels. He's using six. Well, it's true, but in that time, Blake has made up 30 laps. Things now neck and neck. It's lap 187 here in Ho Chi Minh City as Lee continues on his roller skate. And Blake has stopped in the middle of the track to help a passerby reload his bags of rice. I wonder you fell over, mate. Less bags next time. But Lee fails to take advantage as he returns to the pit again. Ryan, 
you'd have to say that Andrew Lee really cannot afford too many more pit stops if he wants to win this race. True? Well, couldn't be truer, Ian. Uh, Andy's here. He's not in a good way. I mean, the roller skate was supposed to help. Do you think it helped? No, it was just sending my leg out left. Bike wanted to go straight. Really done some groin damage. While Lee is in the pits, Blake takes the lead and hits 200 laps in a time of three hours and 48 minutes. And there's that high five. Deservedly so, what a comeback. They love the tradition. As Lee heads back out again, now some 14 laps behind. He'll need some luck to win it from here. And look at him go. He roars back into this race. Wow, he is a man on a mission, a fighter. Nothing can stop him now. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. Oh dear, not ideal. What are you doing, mate? And Blake is letting him know about it. But if I know Lee, and I'd like to think we've become quite close recently, he won't let that half accident dampen his spirits. Blake's still in the lead now, but not by much, completing 2.30 laps. Lee on 2.18. He must produce something special now. What will it be? Oh, no! He's down! Lee's down! What a tragedy! He's lost control somehow. Let's have another look at it. Yeah, you can see there he's attempted to take that turn far too acutely and has paid the ultimate price. He doesn't seem injured, but Ryan is with him now. Ryan? Ian, yeah, look, this doesn't look good. I don't know what the official problem is here. Feeling the pinch. Hamish is getting very close to the 250 now. It will be very hard for you to get back from here. It can happen any moment, mate. Don't look at me cocky. A word of warning from Lee. But Blake appears unconcerned. He knows the race is within his grasp because he's got just 10 laps to go. Things don't look good at the Lee camp. How's the bike? No. No. Well, no, doesn't sound promising as Blake powers on. Can Lee continue? But my body's like the bike. Come out. Oh, no. Tragedy as Lee bows out, collapsing to the ground. He still has to finish, though. That's the rules of racing. That's true. Lee's done his homework. They are generally the rules of racing. But with only one lap to go, Blake will win as he takes the Australian flag. Gosh, he's overcome so much today. Go, go, go! Pain and severe heat exhaustion and stage one of the great comebacks of our time. I love you, Australia! I love you, Vietnam! Looking back and, well, yes, who could forget him zipping up his suits? Great fit. Oh, and his mechanic fat, I remember him. Oh, and when he fell onto his left elbow there. Ryan is on the finishing line now as Blake roars home. Well, as Hamish comes in, for the very final time after 250 laps, Andy, you've got to be proud of him. Yes! Yes! yes. Oh! Wow. <laughs> wow! Well, four hours, 25 minutes, and 250 laps later, there it is. Hamish Blake, your roundabout GP champion. And he is celebrating in style, putting on a show for his fans who have stuck it out till the end. And as the rain comes down and the corks go pop, I'm Ian Dancer. I'll catch you round. About.